Hello, YouTube. I built furries, because I got bored, and I, my friends pulled a bunch of stuff and gave me it. So, yeah, this deck is completely... I didn't buy a single card by myself, so that's why ratios are hysterical. Um, Cat Devil. <coughs> it's the only starter Murakumo has, because it lets you draw a card and we're in standard. Yay! Four copies of Zanbaku. Um, it's how you beat OTT for free, because your opponent can't ride. Counterblast one, Soul Blast one. Look for an Arrestor card, and if you have both, it gets your opponent. If it, your grade th opponent's grade three can't be ridden upon. Oh, it also gets five K, so it can do numbers. It's a good card. It's you a plus. Okay, I'm just tired, my dude, and a little sick. But yeah, um, Excel Circle. Plus one, and Vanguard stunning, so you they don't get gifts. Yay! Four copies of Mandala Lord because when you're playing, you don't always play against OTT, and Zanbaku's Vanguard stunning against some decks isn't super relevant unless you're sure you can pull off the full lock. So Mandala Lord's how you kill people. On ride, counter blast, soul blast one. Pick two cards and search for copies of them. One copy of them and call them. And put a card from hand to soul. All copies of himself get 3k. Which is cool. So it can hit big numbers for Excel. One Musashi. On attack, if you have more rear guards than your opponent, 5k. And your opponent needs two cards to guard it. Why do I? am I only running one of a good card? One's all I have. Four copies of Rite Arrestor, because it's how you do the Vanguard lock with Zanbaku. On place, if you have Zanbaku and Left Arrestor, Counterblast 1, move a card from hand to soul. Your opponent's Vanguard can't stand. So if you mix that with your opponent's Vanguard can't ride, they can attack. Or get gifts. Which is good. Preventing your opponent from trim driving is good. We're running three because while it's a brick, you want to see copies of it. Kinda need copies of that boy. This is a weird ass deck. Four copies of Left Arrestor. Um, on attack, Soul Blast one. It, when it attacks a Vanguard, Soul Blast one. If you have another Arrestor, you get five. It gets five K, so it becomes a bigger boy, and it hits. Cause it's an Excel clan, so it doesn't hit big numbers. So hitting big numbers is cool. Three copies of Magi Mandala, cause I only have three. Um, on rear or in deck, it becomes Mandala Lord, so it's another target for Mandala's act. And if you have three Mandalas, it gets boost. So, that's kind of cool. Um, I'd probably play four if I had a fourth, but I don't. So, yeah. I'm not going to go out of my way to get a single common. I don't know why this was in my pile. Um... Two copies of Fushimi, if you have more rear guards, plus 5k during your own turn, and on place pick a card, it can attack the back row. It hits it, good numbers on Excel markers. Four copies of Million Rat, Counterblast 1, if you have no other Million Rats, call a Million Rat, and it loses 4k. Um, you have to have no, you can only have one Million Rat to do that, I don't know why you couldn't have three, because you're counterblasting and they're getting negs, you shouldn't have been allowed to get multiple, but it's fine. Uh, it's a plus one and a grade one, so. Uh, four copies of Turbulent Edge, counterblast one, soul blast one, its name becomes Mond- all Turbulent Edges become Mandala Lords, and all Mandala Lords get 3k. This isn't what's per turn, we're running this over the dude that's like, if you called, give 5k, because you can be on Zanbaku, and if you have, like, Turbulent Edge, or Mandala, or Magai Mandala on rear guard, you can hit big numbers with this guy, which is cool. Or you can just hit big numbers if you're just on Mandala. So, yeah, a lot of things get a lot of power, which is neat. Three copies of Shiji Mamaru, one that boosts. Uh, two cards with the same name as the card you boost get 3k. It's effectively a 10k booster that gives 3k to something else. This deck does a decent amount of cloning, so it's worth it. Murakuma doesn't have a lot of great grade ones, TBQH. 
Triggers. We're going the obvious four uh, PG draw and one regular draw. And four heal and seven crit because um, force isn't that great with Mur uh, not force front isn't that great with Murakumo. Um, you want to just damage your opponent as much as you can. Because you don't do a lot of... Your multi-attacking exists by virtue of having markers. And... Um, you don't hit big enough numbers to abuse force... I mean, excel... What the hell are they called? Front triggers. So, yeah. <laughs> Same. Me too. So that's the deck profile. Um... It's pretty good. It's a pretty good deck. It's anti-meta. It's fun. And it does some things. Goodbye. Do you think the deck is underrated? Um, no. If anything, it might be overrated. Because everybody's like, oh, it's anti-OTT. So good. And I'm like, yeah, it's good against that. But other than that, it's like, it's good. It's a good deck, yeah. But I think it's still kind of overrated. Like for that week, week and a half when Zonbaku is $20. Really? Yeah. Cool. So yeah, um, it's pretty good. It's pretty fun. We have videos with it, so uh, check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hashtag Logang. <laughs>